And welcome folks, welcome back to Be Your Response. This week I'll answer a question by Tika Cowboy. That's an interesting nickname. This question refers to my second video of Sin, entitled JLH is Hot. He asked, 327, for me that picture is Jessica Cannon. How and why? We actually posed a very interesting question there. At first I didn't understand your question correctly. I originally thought that you were referring to the same picture that is visible in my video. After a while I figured out that you are actually referring to a different picture. I learned this information by finding a site with the URL www.nextdimension.org slash sinsteam. Through this site I learned that there are actually two versions of Sin. Namely Sin was re-released on Steam on April 5th 2006 together with Rages of Sin and Sin Episodes Emergence as a bundle. This version of Sin was modified, namely it included fixes of audio video playback issues, an integration of the Steam multiplayer browser and most importantly the textures were heavily modified. Changes included the removal of references to living persons like John Romero, George Broussard, a certain well-known Dallas-based lawyer and founding member of Gathering of Developers and even the level lord himself. All references to brands and intellectual property, including other games and game characters like Lara Croft, but not Duke Nukem, Deer Hunter and Mist, Quake, and even a ritual game, namely Heavy Metal Fact 2. Also games magazines. References to pop culture and a certain company producing inflatable love sheeps. Moreover removed were all references to cannabis. Even references to brands and intellectual property established after the original release of Sin were removed. Also some obscure things were removed like a reference to the JP Morgan Chase Tower in Dallas, Texas. And license plates? What the fuck? And of course, nudity was removed. Including nipples. Can you find a nipple on this picture? I'll give you a hint. Yep. Even that tiny piece of nipple was too offensive and got removed. However, some nudity was left in, but the pictures got still replaced. I would assume this was due to copyright issues. What the fuck? What were they thinking with this picture? They even removed a tiny icon of the Internet Explorer on this texture of a bank monitor. And then on some other texture they left the icon of the Internet Explorer in and replaced something else. And for some reason they replaced all occurrences of this robot model. And finally among the textures replaced was this texture. The texture the viewer was referring to. They removed the quote Bison need Viper and they replaced the picture of someone, which I thought was John Romero, with a picture of Jessica Cannon, one of the new characters appearing in Sin Episodes Emergence. Of course the question is why got this picture replaced? I think if you look at the other textures that got edited, it is likely that this picture actually is a picture of a real living person. Is it John Romero? If not, is it someone from the development team of Sin? I'm afraid that's a mystery that will remain open. However, I think we did shed some light on this question. And with this, I end this week's episode of Video Response. Thanks go to Tika Caraboy for asking this very interesting question and to the insane person of nextdimension.org who put all this incredible effort of figuring out which textures were modified. I really am indebted to you. So thank you very much, sir. Thank you for watching. Until next time folks, until then.